Hi, I'm Cherie. So I'm one of the owners of Tiger Medical Center. I am a full-time mom, a full-time entrepreneur, and I work many, many hours throughout the day. Ask me how I do that. Well, my Titan Medical Center therapies get me through my day, give me the energy that I need to make it through my day, and also burn fat throughout the day while I'm sitting at my desk. So, my Titan Medical Therapies in the morning is my ECA Stack Plus and my Tighten Up Injectable. And it's gonna help me focus, burn fat, give me energy, put me in a better mood, and help boost my immune system. So, get your Titan Medical Therapies today. What's up guys? John here from Titan and uh, today is just like any other day for me. Busy, right? So I got to get in everything I have to do in this day. All the responsibilities for my family, starting off the day, then Titan Medical Center, all that. And then I try to get some personal time in. That means like some workout time. Not like I can go out and hang out by myself or go do something really cool. I, you know, sometimes I can, but at this point and usually in my days and those routines, it's the same grind over and over and over. So I got to get in training when I possibly can. So with that, my go-to before training are usually an ECA stack for stimulating energy burning, raising core temperature, and then definitely my Hercules potion. So Hercules potion is, uh, is definitely going to be a game changer for you as far as, you know, recovery, muscle pump, uh, being able to do more strenuous activity, hopefully. Um, you know, liver support, you know, immune system support, uh, collagen support for, you know, your those bad shoulders, knees, or elbows, or even wrists, you know. Um, and then L-carnitine in there. So you're going to get some great amino acids along with this therapy. And it's going to be a lot of things that will definitely help you guys get some way better results. Well, this is some different things that you can do to get some better results than you're possibly getting now in the gym and outside of the gym. So I'm just gonna finish up what I'm doing here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, work out what I do. And at that point, I'm gonna, you know, inject my Hercules potion before my workout. Like I told you, it's my go-to. I took my ECA probably about 45 minutes ago. And it usually takes about 45 minutes, maybe an hour tops if you ate something. And these are a great combination to put together. Um, it beats any pre-workout out there. Now you can use these things for other things than pre-workout, but, Everything that's out there on the market, over the counter, horrible absorbency, horrible transportation rate. This is definitely superior to that. The other thing is, is you're only getting what's on this label. There's no other fillers, no other garbage, no other BS that you guys are going to be putting in your body. And you don't have to drink it all day and get bloating and feel like garbage. You know, your stomach's all in knots. I've been there. I've already done all that a long time ago, and this is definitely superior. And anybody that tries this, 
I'm telling you, you guys will think it's superior too. You know, I always get the question, oh, well, I can get all this stuff orally. I'm telling you, the transportation rate and absorbency is way higher. That is a proven fact. The absorbency is gonna be better for you. It's gonna get in your system a lot quicker so you can utilize it in what you're doing. So let's get to the last uh, pool. Now, you know, obviously before you, know, you pull any medication for any vial, I just wipe the top of it with an alcohol uh, pad or you can get a cotton ball with alcohol. You can dab that and, and just go across it one time, not wishing it around, right? So I'm gonna pull this other one. So if you guys have Hercules Potion, have questions about Hercules Potion, you know, I'm gonna go directly in the center of this, this gray stopper right here. All right, and I'll show you on a different stopper after this. So this one is done. Now, usually you only need one of these uh, needles or one injectable, one ML, for Hercules Potion to work, okay? Um, if you want to get more crazier with it, you can do more Hercules Potion than one of these. You can actually do, you know, four of these per se. So what I like to do is I like to use them on the muscles that I'm training that day. So today I'm going to do a superset series and that's going to involve doing biceps and triceps. So I'm going to inject both biceps and triceps and I'm going to show you how to do it with one ML. Now, you can do it with half an ML in each one and do it bilaterally. If you want to save on the medication, you don't want to run on as quick, I totally understand that. So you can do that too as well. I'm just showing somebody that from one extreme to the other extreme and what you guys can do. All right, so you guys aren't limited. You guys can really work with this. And if you have any questions about your therapy or you want to become a patient and take advantage of this therapy, just call or text us at the office. The medical staff will be happy to help you guys out. And I'll give that information at the end of this video so you guys can call or text whenever you guys want. Okay. So let's get this on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, is I'm getting ready for my injection. What am I gonna do after I pull the medication, make sure that's all good. I'm gonna make sure that wherever I'm injecting is going to be sterile, right? And the best way to do this is to get an alcohol pad or you can get a cotton swab and alcohol it. Um, and then you're gonna pick the spot. I don't care if you've just gotten out of the shower, you should definitely uh, practice you know, safe protocols and cleanliness is next to godliness, okay? So make sure you guys are doing this because, you know, for one little injection, if you push something in your skin per se, and it might not happen, but it could happen. And it has happened before where people might get an infection because of that, because they didn't clean the area before they did the injection. Okay. And now with us, it's never happened with us, but it has happened out there medically. All right. So I'm going to do biceps and triceps. Now biceps might scare some people, especially if you're veiny, you start seeing veins and everything. You're not going to inject into a vein. Okay. And if you're uh, new at this, you know, I recommend injecting right into the deltoid in the shoulder. It's the easiest point to see. Uh, you can directly in inject it center. And if you inject it here, you're still going to get the results from Hercules Potion, but there's going to be more instant gratification if you inject in the muscle that you're going to be training. Okay. So I'm going to pick my biceps. So, uh, you know, I'm not as vascular as I usually am, but I'll get there because this is definitely going to open up those blood vessels. It's a precursor to nitric oxide of vasodilator. It means more blood pumping, more veins showing, right? So let's do this. So I'm gonna pick my biceps. I'm gonna go right here. And you just wanna go in the center of the muscle. Now you can approach from different angles as long as you're going center in. But at that point, like I'm gonna go center. Now I do see a vein going on here. I'm not gonna inject into the vein. So I'll be doing it right next to it. So I'm making a small circle and then pushing out a big circle, okay? So I'm pushing out all the dirt out of there. So that's our one off. Let's do the other. See it? We're gonna start with a little circle and then we're gonna make it a big circle and push out. Right? Right. All right, after that, we're gonna do the triceps. Now, you know, you can pick where your triceps have, you can see it, you can flex it. That's the best way to see a center of a muscle. There's mine. Circle, big circle, and pushing out. Now you don't want to touch these areas after you have sterilized or desterilized them. Um, once you sterilize the areas, you don't want to touch them at all and contaminate them. Don't cross contamination. Okay. Now you can let it sit for about 30 to 60 seconds. Let it air out. Um, it's not going to hurt you if you inject right away, but if you do inject and push a little alcohol on there, it might be a, a little burning sensation. It won't last long. It's not going to kill you or hurt you that bad. But you know, want to do it optimally we're here for all right so we're gonna do biceps now biceps for me I, I you know you can you can put your arm straight you don't want to flex your arm and inject it you don't want to do that um, the best thing you can do is I mean you can lay down your arm per se 
And if you do lay down your arm like this, you're going to have to re-sterilize your tricep. So I'll do that too for you guys so you guys can see it. So, you know, I'm going to inject it here in this bicep first. So I'm going to decap the needle. Cut two, three flicks at the top. Make sure there's no big air bubbles in there. Now, air bubbles aren't going to kill you, but, you know, you want to get the bigger ones out if you can. All right. So we're going to go center in. So we're going to directly go center down. I know where my muscle's at right there. So we're going to go center down into the muscle. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and smooth as far as the injection going in. And point straight out. I have a get a little box here for my needles. Safety container. All right, so I'm going to go into the next bicep. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly down with the needle. Straight up. Nice and easy, nice and smooth. Virtually painless. Okay. Now we're going to do the triceps. Excuse me. Before I do this, because we just laid our arm down, we have to make sure that we sterilize the areas again. All right. So we're going to go small circle, pushing the big one, pushing area, all that dirt out. Okay. Flip it over. Small circle, pushing out all that dirt to a big circle. Give it a second to air down. Now we're going to do it. So you can do it like this if you want to. You don't want to flex it, but you can do it like this if you just want to let your arms sit. Even there, it's a flex. So, um, you know, you can do it like this. Try to go right in the head. Now, if you don't get it directly in the muscle, it might leave a little bump there for a second. Don't worry, this is gonna absorb in there. It's not gonna stay there. Boom. And that is a tutorial of Hercules Potion using on your biceps and your triceps before your workouts. If you wanna do spot injecting in these areas, that's what I do. Um, that's what a lot of patients do. So it's totally up to you if you wanna do that. If not, that's okay. You guys can go right in your deltoid and that's your shoulder and, and just Go at it, so no problems there. But I want to help you guys out with a more advanced tutorial of how to use Hercules Potion in your biceps and triceps for that awesome tight medical center Hercules Potion pump and a lot, lot more. So guys, if you want to take advantage of Hercules Potion, want to know more, how to become a patient, it's real simple and easy to do. Call or text us at 727-389-3220. Check out the website at www.tightmedicalcenter.com and you can read about Hercules Potion and our other signature vitamin amino acid therapies that we offer our patients and a lot, lot more. If you guys want to know more about the videos that we do, you guys can always go to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, give it a like, give it a follow, give it a subscribe. We love you guys. We'll see you guys on the next video, helping you guys know more about Titan Medical Center therapies and how they can help you day in and day out. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I get the question a lot, how do I switch over to be a Titan Medical Center patient if I'm already on hormone replacement therapy or medical weight loss program with another medical provider or clinic? 
it's a real easy and simple process, okay? And maybe you're one of these people that you're not getting the results that you wanted to, you don't feel as good as you think you could, you don't look as good as you think you could, or you might just think, you know what, uh, I'm just not happy with where I'm at, okay? And we get this a lot, okay? We get a lot of people that bridge over or come over from other clinics or other medical providers. And the process is very simple and very easy. So I'll just explain some of the main points. So as long as we have blood work and the tests that we require within 60 days, we can use those labs for you and just set you up with a medical provider, the consultation, where they go over those labs, go over, you know, why you're switching over possibly, your medical history, your family history, you know, maybe if you're still having symptoms, and go over a personalized treatment regimen with you, okay? Next thing is, is if you're already on testosterone replacement, you don't have to stop your testosterone to switch over. We don't want you to crash your levels, but we do have to make sure that it is prescribed by a medical provider and filled in the United States with a US licensed pharmacy, okay? Just to make sure that it's the right medication that was prescribed to you and it's legitimate, okay? So after that, that's really simple and really easy. All you have to do is just fill out the new patient paperwork, you see our medical provider, as long as we have labs within 60 days of the test that we require, we can utilize those labs. If not, no worries. We can set you up with labs anywhere in the United States. So at that point, if you need new labs, we can help you out. And we have the most inexpensive lab tests in the country. So I promise you guys, we'll help you out. We'll get you feeling good, looking good, and performing the best you possibly can. I'm John from Titan. Please contact us, 727-389-3220. Check out the website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. I appreciate it, guys, and we want you to be a part of the Titan Medical Center family. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully entertain, excite, and ignite your relationship and hopefully take it to a whole new level. And don't worry guys or girls out there, if you're not in a relationship, you guys can use this knowledge and information for your future endeavors in your relationship and hopefully apply these things and hopefully it'll make it a more successful relationship if your relationships in the past have not been so su successful, I guess, right? So let's get into it right now. So the topic we're going to talk about this week is how do you talk to your partner mm -hmm. about things that they think might be cute or might like and you really just don't like? And uh, you really need to talk to them about it. Yeah, how do you approach it? You know, wouldn't it be a little awkward sometimes? I guess so. I mean, usually in the beginning of the relationship, when you meet somebody, you know, everything is awesome, right? <laughs> everything they do is awesome. But as you start being with somebody, there might be some different things that, that really get underneath your skin, per se, right? Or you might not like, or just, you know, it's just not your style it or taste. It's super random, too. <laughs> and there's a lot of different examples we're going to go over here. But... You know, these are, this is one of the things that, listen, where communication is there, you need to talk about things. Communication is key. And maybe bring it up in a, in a nice manner, okay, with something like this. So let's just break into it, right? And let's give an example here. So 
if you're dating somebody, and let's say I'm dating, and I was dating Sharice, and, and I didn't like certain things. So oh God. let's say it's... Um, Pick an example you really didn't like. No, I know one for sure. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah I know what he's going to say. I know what he's going to say. Yep, Sharice smoked when I first met her. I definitely don't like to smoke. I nailed so it, didn't I? Didn't I told her, I'm like, listen, that. the smoking's got to go. It. Like, don't come back to bed. You better brush your teeth. And, like, at this point, like, no more smoking. That was a big one for me. It um, was a big one. You know, my dad smoked two packs of Reds, uh, marbles uh, a day, I and I'd have to be stuck in the too. car. And before all that, with secondhand smoke and all that stuff, we were stuck in the car up north when it was really cold outside with the windows up or barely cracked. So uh, I definitely don't like smoke. That, that was one big now thing. I'll live a longer life to continue to harass my husband. <laughs> <laughs> So that's one thing, right? And I talked to her about it right away because this is something that, listen, right away, like, it caused an issue as far as what I'm not used to and what I really didn't like or really didn't want a partner because I'm living a healthy lifestyle here. I'm not smoking and I really didn't want it around me. Or if future, because you got to think down the line, do you, you know, if you're going to have a family and kids, do you want to surround them too as well? Mm -hmm. And this could be debilitating for kids too as well. Asthma, all these different things around secondhand smoke. Mm -hmm. So just having it on your clothing can can make a difference as far as when a baby child is on your chest, breathing those those uh, odors in. So that was one thing that, that just got me. So that's just my example, right? That was a good one. You know, it, it's a good one. But there's a, there could be a lot of different things out there. There could be, you know, for, for girls, guys leaving up the toilet seat. Yeah, God, I, that is so It's annoying. a big one, right? And I, I've learned for myself, like, not to do this, and I, I always put it down. But yeah. um, I, I have seen a couple girls fall in the toilet without <laughs> yeah. looking in the middle yeah, of the night. Middle, just go the over there. In the middle of the night. That's a great one, yeah. So that's funny, you know, getting a little butt wet and stuff like that, <laughs> and yelling about it. <laughs> <laughs> not happening with me, but definitely happened to a couple of my friends. Oh, I've seen yeah, this happen. Yeah, definitely not happening with him. Thank definitely goodness. Not, definitely I not would have me. definitely had him in a chokehold for that. But that, you know, that, that's something, you know, I mean. My, one, one of mine was. Yeah, let's see. One. I want to yeah. hear it. So he probably already knows. In fact, this actually happened today. It's very funny. Um, not really. However, <laughs> I hate, hate, uh -huh. hate chocolate. Oh, I that's hate right. chocolate. That's right. I don't. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the, like the way it looks. I think it's disgusting. The smell of it is so repulsive. It literally makes me gag. Can like, you guys believe this? <laughs> Can you guys believe this chocolate? I'm like the only person on the planet that thinks this way, too. It's so strange, right? So anyways, like when I met John, John loves chocolate, right? Chocolate. And like, you know, I was telling him like, hey, listen, like, I don't like chocolate. I like actually hate chocolate. And I use hate not that frequently. But if I really, really, really don't like something, I'm going to use that word. So, and I hate chocolate. So he would constantly in bed, like, you know, he'd be eating cookies and brownies and whatever, you know. And, like, you know, sometimes he'd turn and look at me and, like, we'd talk about something. And I'm like, oh, it smells like chocolate. And I'm like, oh. Because it's not that his breath smelled. It's because his breath smelled like chocolate. And I literally wanted to puke. So I'd have to tell him, like, hey, listen, I know you know I don't like chocolate. So, like. I'm going to have to, like, drink some water or something because I just hate the smell of chocolate. She does. And then today, that happens, you know? What is it, like, 15 years later? And he's <laughs> talking to me. and I'm, I'm eating to... a cookie, and she asked my advice. He I, comes over next to me. I try to show him an it's email. It's like, is that chocolate? No, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally making these faces. I'm like, oh, my God, right now. I'm like, are you eating chocolate? And he's I'm like, <laughs> Ew. And then he's like, oh, jeez. He goes over and drinks his water. He's like, let me see what you wanted me to see. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, that was just, you know, it's, it's an example of like, you know, and it's, it's, you're telling him like something you may not like. It's true. And then you have to kind of express like how much you really not, like you really don't like it. Right. 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 Another good example that I was just talking to him about before the episode was um, maybe the way you dress. Mm. You know, that, I think that's a big one. Because sometimes you'll meet somebody and you'll think like whatever you're dressing in is like super cute and it looks very sleek and sexy. And then he'll come out and be like, oh, I think you look great, but actually your dress is a little short, you know, or I, I don't know, your dress is a little see-through and, uh, you know. So for the guys out there, if you have an out, if the girl has an outfit on and it's, it's a little provocative for you and you don't like it, you have to speak up. 
because they're not going to know unless you tell them. That's going to be a, that's going to be a, I can see that going two ways when they do that. Yeah. The girls are like, you ain't telling me what to wear. I mean, some girls should respect it. They'll be like, all right, I appreciate it, honey. I didn't know this made you uncomfortable. You didn't like it. I'll go change. And then you're going to get the other half. They're going to be like, you're not going to tell me what to yeah, wear. Yeah, I'm not changing. I'm, I'm aware this. what I'm aware. Yeah, I wear this when you met me. You know, right, some, some okay. of those past, right? And then, 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 then you don't want to be upset when guys are, you know, making comments about you when you're walking by, yeah. right? So go change your outfit. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree with that. You know, the other one is, um, the other one that I've seen out there with, uh, you know, and some of these things you got to attack right away. Like this is something you see like right in the beginning. Like there's something that sticks out. But then after a while, as the relationship starts to, you know, gather some ground, you guys start to get some, some things underneath your belt as far as experience, memories, and time. You know, then you guys are going to be looking for, you know, more common ground as far as, you know, what's the next step in our relationship or evolution. And that could be nothing. You guys could stay at the exact same pace you guys are at or you guys could be moving forward. And what I mean by that, that could be like moving in with each other or maybe engaged or, or something along those lines. And then when that happens, as you guys are starting to grow together, there could be things that stick out that, listen, you guys used to do back in the day and was all cool and fine and dandy. But as you mature and you start gathering ground and years of experience, then it's not so cool to do it anymore. Yeah, not so cool. So, prime example, right, oh, is, <laughs> is I, I see it all the time here. And, and, you know, my guys and girls both do this, I know, is, you know, they, they get in the relationship, they, you know, they're together for a long time. And then it's all like, you know what, I've been missing the club too much. I got to start going out. So they start going out. They want to stay out till 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, right? And at that point, the relationship's past that point, especially if you guys aren't together or the other partner doesn't You're want to do crazy. it. You're crazy. You know, as you start gathering years <laughs> underneath your belt, you guys are in, not to say you guys can't go out and enjoy this once in a while or you know, every so often. Trust me, I, I, I tell you guys, definitely go do it. Blow off some stress, dance together, get, get some time together. If you guys have some alcoholic beverages, be responsible about it. Don't get crazy. But, you know, be smart about it. You know, and that's the other thing. When we usually go out, you know, you're usually possibly drinking. Some people drink to, to a far extent where they can't think about what they did that night. And they have to get remembered by their partner. Like, listen, I told you, I don't like you doing that. You just did this last night. And when you get like this, you know, you said things that I didn't like or you did things that I didn't like. And you don't even remember. You're like, man, like, I didn't remember. I'm so sorry. But then you go out the next week and you do it again. Do it again, yeah. You know, that's that, that's just like you you don't care at that point. You're just doing it to do it and you're doing it all over again. So this can be hurtful to your partner. And this is something you need to talk about too as well. Just because you talk about it though, guys, on the other end of the spectrum, guy or girl, you have to listen. Yeah. Like you can't just like hear what they're saying goes in one ear, yeah. come out the other. Let it actually process through your brain yep. so that way you can i mean that's the only way you're gonna apply get better it. apply that's it. the only way you're gonna get better actions speak louder than words i mean listen me and john been together forever Absolutely. and if you think for one second we have not come across every single one of these things that we talk about at some point for sure we have come across it a hundred percent but you mean at the halfway point right yep. there's definitely a happy medium yep. for everybody yep. no matter who you are or what the situation is yep. always a happy medium yeah so this is just a little great tips and info from us to you guys. Yeah, speak up. So guys, make sure you guys are tuning in every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC for our Cupid's Corner Live. If not, DVR it. And if you missed that too, just go to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and you'll see all these great episodes and more. So I'm John. I'm sure you. And we'll see you back next Sunday at 11 a.m. for another Cupid's Corner. Yep, we'll see you then.